Rapper Trina, let's see, slammed after calling Miami protesters animals. Listen, Trina and Trick Daddy have a debate about protesting and rioting in Miami. Okay? All right. Keep everybody off the streets, these animals off the streets. Now, if, if Trina believes this, what do y'all think other people believe? <laughs> okay? What do you think other people believe about what's going on with these so-called protests? It's supposed to be a video there. It's not playing. Uh, but let's see. Miami rapper Trina is catching heat after she referred to protests as animals on Wednesday morning. They need to make a curfew at 6 p.m. Loving Hip Hop Miami star who's 45 said on the 99 Jams morning radio show insisting that the Miami-Dade mayor Carlos uh, is it Jimenez? Move the time up from uh, 9 p.m. She continued, keep everybody off the streets. These animals from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. and will be enforced until Gomez lifts the order. Yeah. They need to make the curfew at 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's how I feel. <laughs> no. Keep everybody off the streets. These animals off the streets that are running around in Miami Dade County, oh. acting like they have escaped from a zoo. Lock them up at. <laughs> Uh, listen, man, people would listen. If you didn't know who Trina was, you would think that she was a conservative, right? Y'all y'all claim only conservatives think this way. I don't think so. There's a lot of other people who believe this. And this wasn't like a, you know, caught on video saying this. She was on a radio show saying this, which which means that people around her probably believe this as well. You know, so. This ain't no conservative saying. This is Trina saying this. I live in a Latino community. I am. Let's see. Let's see what else Trina's saying. We can. Uh, let's go on with the article. Uh, she saying, the BAPS artist went on to vent her frustrations over a friend's business. ITM being so destroyed. the street could be nice and clean. That's how I feel. Okay. In short, adding that national outrage won't bring back those who have lost their lives to police inactions. We can't bring back nobody's lives that has been taken away, whether it's from police or the hands of another civilian. She continued, we cannot bring them back. You cannot pump life back into them at all. I can't bring back my little brother's life. Uh, his life was taken by the hands of taken by the hands of a man, a black man. Let me tell y'all something, man. Experiences changes people, man. It shapes them. It molds them, okay? Their belief systems. I think Trina feels some type of way about a certain demographic of people. And as she said that her brother, you know, um, is no longer here because of another black man. And that is the story uh, in these particular situations. Now, people are mad at at her they're angry they want to cancel her for having that particular opinion you do have people in the streets acting like animals you know uh and the thing is that she wasn't necessarily talking about black people she was just talking about the so-called protesters who've been who have been slowly turning into rioters that's who she was referring to um doesn't mean i agree with her comments i just think that trina feels very comfortable saying what she is saying because there are a lot of people who agree with her around her. She just decided to say it publicly. She talked about how her friend's business got ransacked. She's on a motion. She, in that moment, she doesn't care about being rapper Trina. She's looking at it from a civilian standpoint. And I think that's what got people upset because she's very genuine in what she's saying. She's not like all these other celebrities that are going to lie to y'all and make it seem like what they're saying is what they believe. That's not what they believe. They don't want any of that coming anywhere near them and the stuff that they own. Okay? She also insisted that many claiming to be protests are simply opportunistic looters who are not even caring about George Floyd, the reality star's comments, specifically her liking and protest to animals, didn't sit well with many, including fans of the love of the hip hop uh, artists, who are now looking at her with new eyes. 
Okay, and let's go check out some of these comments here on this particular post. Uh, can I been told y'all? Let's see. Oh, let's see. Am I? Oh, wrong post. Let's see. Thread. All right. Okay. Just shows, just shows that most of these celebrities from ATL and now Miami only black when it's time to support them, not the other way around. And pay attention to the ones only posting on their stories, not the actual page. Well, we need to worry about the people who are blackening out their profile pics, hopping on social media, <laughs> talking about, uh, was it Blackout Tuesday? And that's like the only post they have speaking on the George Floyd situation, man. Those are the people you really need to look out for. People showing fake love and sincerity. <laughs> okay? Look out for those people. Because there's a lot of fake love and, and support that I'm seeing from the celebrities and on social media. Because you got females who are IG models putting up this one post. And all of a sudden, and I'm noticing that the post got like a tenth of the likes. And it has like a tenth of the of the comments because they're like, no one takes you seriously. Like you all we see you doing is in barely nothing on posing, showing your assets. And we're supposed to believe you actually care about something, you know, so no one no one's really taking them seriously. Uh, let's see. I won't forget. They will never get my support from streams to views to products. They pushing. Only reason they have anything is off. Of mostly poor black people. They need to take her off the radio. Trina won't even let Trick talk. Trick probably agrees with her. I didn't hear the whole interview. But Trick probably believes her. But uh, He probably agrees with her. Not even white. She sounds. Uh, yeah. Let's see. She is so ignorant. It's so hard to listen to her. She thinks. If you have license, insurance, registration, the police won't you know, tell those um, black men who have been. Uh, she sounded hurt about her brother, like an out of touch Caucasian woman, and like she hate the community that made her rich. Damn, Trina. But again, those celebrities don't surprise me. Hope she doesn't eat her words. Let me tell y'all what's going to happen to the celebrity. Once this quarantine thing is over and people can go back to doing what they were doing, these celebrities who've been doing these IG lives and podcasts and all the other things, they're going to go back to doing what they're doing, but they're going to have half the fanfare. Because let me tell you something like this. The one thing that makes you a celebrity, okay, the one thing that makes you different from your average everyday fan is that your accessibility, these celebrities, because they are so desperate for attention, they made themselves more accessible than ever before. And in so doing, of making themselves accessible, their celebrity is going down more and more and more to where they're not even going to be viewed the same way. So the people who are on television shows that make the ratings go up, been on nothing but IG lives and doing podcasts like People aren't really going to care about them as much because the one the difference between us and them is that their accessibility. Um, but when they try to make themselves seem regular and normal, no one no one's going to care about you once you're back to uh, doing what you've been doing. I have to apologize to Queen Guy, uh, Trina. Sorry. Trina tried to save her. Trick, uh, Trick tried to save her. She didn't want to be saved. <laughs> uh, no, my girl, Trina, you can't be talking crazy like this, boo. The fuck is going on with her? She keeps backpedaling on stuff she's saying when Trick get at her. Yeah, well, they, they're on Trina's neck right now in this post, man. Uh, but, you know, she said what she said. <laughs> She said what she said. Now, all you people, are y'all still going to support her? Y'all going to forget about this, probably. Y'all know that attention spans of, of individuals don't last unless you piss us off. Like, I, I can say some crazy. If I'm a celebrity, right, 
I could say something crazy and I know that I I still have a chance to get uncanceled. All I have to do is apologize, maybe go on a little apology tour. And then all of a sudden become like an activist and get into activism. People are going to forget about it. People are not. People are going to forget that until you piss them off again. And if you piss them off again. OK. Then they're going to bring this stuff back up. But it has to get to, you know, those particular levels, you know.